Jesus cries twice in the text. I think he does this more than that, but it's recorded that he cries twice. The story begins in the first time where he's outside of Bethany and he hears that his friend Lazarus is, is laying sick. It says that he waits two days, he knows the story, and now hears that Lazarus is dead. It begins his walk to Bethany. It says that Miriam runs out to meet him. And he begins to talk with her and, and tell her, literally he tells her, Lazarus will be raised from the dead. Miriam, on hearing this, runs back to Mary and says, come out, the teacher has, has need of you to tell you. Mary rushes out. The people around her aren't sure what's going on. They're, they're sitting Sheba with her because Lazarus is dead, mourning this death of her brother. She runs out. They follow with him. He gets the Messiah and she bows down before him head to the tomb. And as they're walking to the tomb, Mary says, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and trouble. And he says, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Say da cruo. Da cruo. It means silent weeping. There he stands, tears pouring down his face. Who's he crying for? Is he crying for Lazarus? Lazarus is in heaven. There's no when he sees their cry. He wept. So in touch with his friends, so moved by seeing the people that he loves under this anguish, he cries. The second time he cries, say, Clio, Clio. He sees the disciples and the people gathered around him as he's doing the triumphal enter, raising palm branches and crying, Hosanna, Hosanna to God in the high. Blessed is he is who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. And he looks at the city and weeps, Clio, sobbing out loud, it says in inner anguish, and he wails. Why is he crying? Every time I come to Passover, this question runs through my mind. What does my Jesus look like? Is he flying under some banner? Am I shouting along with the zealots? Kill them! Kill them! As a church, as a body of global believers, so often we fall into this idea that the gospel is confess and believe so God can take you out of this evil world and take you to a better place. Come here to earth, kill all these people around us, purify it of evil, get rid of them all, pull me out of here. And I think Christ weeps. It's as if, I, if you just know what would bring you peace. There's one thing that of all that I said this morning, you had to remember this is the one thing. Jesus cries for everyone. How does he cry for you? Does he weep because he sees you as a friend, feels your pain, knows the anguish that you are in? Or does he sob out loud knowing that you misunderstood him?